and I wanted to make um, just a video to lay down some thoughts um, and this is to do with like job and career progression so I wanted to share with you guys stuff that's helped me progress in my career and job and it's to do with um, firstly choosing the right job for you or getting the job that you want and secondly it's about progressing in that career right so um, the number one thing that employers look for when they're hiring people is genuine passion for what they're doing like business owners and directors are extremely passionate about what they do um, so if you turn up to a job interview and, and you're not showing the same sort of passion that the directors and owners have for their business, then they're not going to be interested. And that trumps skills any day. So skills can be taught and learnt, but just passion can't be. So just make sure you're applying for jobs or which you are genuinely passionate about because they can see that in your eyes when you're in an interview. They can see that you are passionate about what they do. So that's, that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is um, asking for your salary, okay? So if you're applying for a job and it's say 50,000 pounds a year salary, um, it actually costs the employer, let's say roughly double to employ you, what with um, national insurance and equipment costs and training costs and holidays and, and so on, right? So if you're, if you're taking 50 grand from a company, that means you need to be adding at least a hundred grand in some sort of bottom line benefit, which is either it's either going to be um, increasing the revenue of the company or saving the cost of the company, because both of those effectively affect the bottom line. So, in an interview, you need to give the message across to the hiring manager that you understand that you need to be adding this value and you want to be asking them questions like how do I how do you measure this type of thing you know so that shows to them that not only are you passionate about what they do but you recognize that you're an asset and a liability to the company and you want to be asking them how they measure their assets uh, now if you do those two things you'll you'll just get any job you want guaranteed um, the second thing, right, I wanted to talk about, which is um, how to progress in your career, in your chosen career. There's a horse just here, I'm passing. <laughs> Let me show you. There he is. <laughs> right. The second thing I want to show you, is, um, to tell you about, is uh, how to progress in your career. Now, this is all about your personality, right? And it's all about how you accept and deal with feedback from your bosses, right? So your bosses will give you feedback and they will correct you. And one thing you have to do is do not bring your ego into work, right? Your ego is gonna, is gonna stop you from progressing. It's gonna stop you from getting pay rises. It's gonna stop you from winning hearts and minds. Your ego is your enemy at work, right? So destroy it, don't bring it in there. If you bring your ego into the, your relationships with your bosses or your customers or your suppliers or anyone, you're gonna destroy those relationships, okay? So leave your ego at home. When, when you're accepting feedback, uh, when, when you're getting feedback, right? Um, there's two responses to feedback, general responses. The first one broadly is thank you, because it is a gift you've given me. You've told me something that's gonna enhance my skill set and my performance, right? And make me more valuable to the company. So thank you for that, yeah? Or you disagree with the feedback, and then you talk about that, right? But let's assume the feedback is correct, right? Now, a high level, uh, a, a, a kind of good response to feedback is thank you. Thank you, I'm gonna do this from now on, right? But an even better response is when you actually explore the feedback, 
in a little bit more detail with the person giving it to you, right? So let's make an example. Uh, let's say you kind of were given some feedback because you were doing a project and and something went wrong and, and uh, your director was giving you feedback to correct this, right? You want to, sh no, you want to create the right event in the mind of the other person giving you feedback, right? Now, the wrong event to create in them is, oh my God, their ego is resisting this or they don't understand this or they're sort of saying, yeah, but they really, you know, are dismissing it. Or, or they feel unappreciated because they've had some negative feedback. Uh, well, that's the wrong event you want to create in the mind of your boss, right? The, the event you want to create in their mind is this person is self-critical, this person is confident, and this person I'm confident is, is going to nail this next time, right? So how do you create that event, right? The way you create the event is you you might not have an answer straight away for the feedback apart from thank you I'm gonna go and think about it but I'm gonna I, I would like to come back to you can we organize a meeting in two days time to just review how I'm going to my action plan right so that's what they want the director and the boss who gives you feedback wants you to digest your feedback now if you can't deal with it straight away you, you need to come back to them right and you need to say Right, I've thought about the feedback you gave me the other day. This is my plan of action to correct this feedback so we can make sure this doesn't happen and this doesn't happen. But in order for this to work, I need some help to put this process in place or this, for example. Yes, that is what they want, right? That is what they want. They want they're giving you feedback so that you progress and you take it seriously and then you act on it and you, and you then, that's not where it stops, by the way. You, you come back to... to with an action plan, this is what I'm gonna to do to address the feedback and to turn this around, right? Um, then, later on, a month later, two months later, you want another meeting and you wanna review how it's gone afterwards. Has this been corrected now? Yes. Now, when it comes to an end of year review about who's gonna get promoted, who's gonna get a pay rise, yeah, you are going to be in the mind of the director as someone who's maturely taken on board the feedback, addressed it seriously, created an action plan to um, uh, 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 to come back to to because your your suggested action might not be the correct one, by the way. So you want to review that as well, right? This is my action plan. Um, can I check with you? This is what you. Uh, what you think is the right way to correct this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Oh no, we might need to do more of this or what resources do we need to fix that, etc. yeah? This is how you take it on board seriously, right? Now, if you bring any ego into this, you're done, right? If you bring any negativity into it, like, oh, I don't feel appreciated, you are done, right? Um, you wanna be mature and you wanna be uh, professional and you want to be showing that you are keen to sh to shape yourself up to to what they want because any company worth working for any boss worth worth working for is going to be looking at who is going to replace them you know who has got the potential to replace them and be the director and be the next managing director or whatever it is right and it's the person who is the most self-critical and the person who's the most confident and the person who's the most professional and who takes everything seriously and acts on it and then reviews this and 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 responds positively uh, to what's happening right so I just wanted to lay those thoughts down for everyone just so that it might be helpful to any of you who are either looking for a new job or looking to progress in, in your existing job so it's all about it's all about your your passion for what the company does it's all about how you recognize how you're adding value and how that's measured and the third thing is how you how you accept uh, and feedback to, to improve your performance and if you nail those three things then you will 
go to serious heights with your career.